Hello and welcome to my apartment clay studio. I want to discuss simple ways that anyone can set up a space in their home for working with clay. Here's a simple setup for working on hand building projects. So you can get a couple slats, a couple sticks that are of equal thickness. These are just painting sticks. Um, a piece of canvas. Um, you can also use just a piece of cardboard or a board. I like to put canvas on the board. Um, also a bucket of water for cleaning. Uh, and a towel that you don't mind getting dirty. You also want to think about the ground around you. So perhaps like plastic sheeting or like a, a blanket that you don't mind getting a little bit of clay on. That'll be a good start. When I first moved into my studio, I had to consider the carpeting. So what I did is I laid down two by eight sheets of plywood over the whole flooring and then put down this interlocking foam mat, which is comfortable to stand on and it's also easy to clean. If you're setting up a wheel space at home then you'll want to put up something around it so that you don't splash clay everywhere. So a tarp works pretty good. Um, you'll also want to make sure that your wheel is level. So get a level out and make sure that that's all good to go. In my studio I've got a clay mixer for reclaiming clays and coloring clays but you don't need all that for reclaiming. One thing that you can use is just a piece of drywall with a piece of canvas on top and you can dry clay out on that and then bend it into arches and have a fan uh, dry it out. You'll want a bucket for cleanup and also a bucket if you're reclaiming clays. Uh, I found this trash can which works perfect for cleaning up my splash pans for my wheel. Um, now if you've got a bunch of slop after throwing just put it in a bucket and um, let it build up and then once you've got enough to wedge up, you know, go ahead and dry it out on the plasterboard with canvas and you'll be good to go. I have an upright carpet cleaner that I use periodically to clean my apartment so that it doesn't get dusty. Um, the other thing that I have is an air purifier in the window over here and that also helps keep the air clean and my studio dust free because that's a concern that we always need to be focused on within ceramics. Overall, if there's a will, there's a way to play with clay in your space without getting it dirty. Stay tuned for more videos on going deeper into some of these topics. Thanks for watching.